Hi, I'm James Matthews Paul. We're at Sign and Digital UK 2011, and I'm at the EFI stand with Emmanuel Swarovs, who's International Field Marketing Manager for uh, the VUTEC range from EFI. Um, hi, Emmanuel. Hi. Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions on camera about the VUTEC TX 3250R, which um, is being previewed at the show, and it's an international preview. And um, this is a light solvent machine, a light solvent textile printer. I wonder if you could just explain for us uh, what that means. Okay. So uh, we have taken the decision to go for a light solvent because uh, we analyzed all the water-based things and they all contain solvent between 25 to 45 percent. Uh, we then analyzed what was the advantage of the water component. We didn't find too much of it apart from the marketing role of it. So we, we have chosen the light solvent component to uh, take all the advantages you can expect from a light solvent ink. Uh, being the control over the dot gain, uh, the fact that we have no binder, glycol, which we use to, uh, to link the water and the solvent component, um, which, which gives you a more clearer, more cleaner ink, uh, easier to use, easier to handle if you want to sublimate it afterwards as well. Okay. And how about the recyclability of the material after it's been printed and it's gone through the calendar? So, what is important also is that uh, the solvent component is just a carrier, so on the end product there is nothing left in the textile. Because you're going to sublimate the textile at the 190 degrees, so uh, the solvent component will immediately evaporate completely. Uh, in terms of recyclability, uh, polyester is probably the most recyclable element you have uh, in, in the printing business. Uh, paper can only be recycled like four up to five times. Uh, polyester, as long as you do it well, you can go on recycling it. It's really a very neat product to work with. Excellent. And um, this is an international preview, but it's in the UK. Um, now, everyone says that the UK has been a little bit slow to pick up on the textile and soft sign market. Do you think that's changing this year? Yes. I think that, first of all, in the technical magazines, people started to talk a lot about textiles. So the attention is there. People are interested, are trying to get informed about it. Um, I think now we have to find the dynamic uh, entrepreneurs who really want to jump into it and use the advantage of being first, of developing that new market, which has so many advantages in terms of recyclability, green image, transportation of the textile, fitting in, into uh, the shops, which can be done by shop personnel. I think if you have that story which has been developed in Germany, in the Benelux, and you implement it in the UK, I really see no reason why it would not work. And let's face it, we have plenty of wind in this country, so, uh, so soft sign options should work. Emmanuel, thank you very much for talking to Malcolm. It's a pleasure.